Rice Owls have been an underdog of 31 points or more 16 times in the last 30 years. They've never won any of those games. They have covered half of them. Meanwhile, the Texas Longhorns, it's the 37th time in the last 30 years that they've been a favorite of more than 31 points. They've gone 36 and 0 straight up. So we're not necessarily going to see an upset here, but more importantly, how do we play the point spread and the over under here, including where's the sharp money? I'm going to let you know with the sharp professional betters and how they're playing this game for Saturday afternoon in just a moment. So stay tuned here on Wager Talk TV. And if you like this content, be sure to hit the thumbs up, the like button. Hit subscribe and that bell for instant alerts with more videos and previews go live like this all week long here on Wager Talk TV. All right, now this obviously is a mismatch. If you look at the Wager Talk live odds screen as we speak, Texas is currently a 35-point favorite across the board in most of the major sports books in Las Vegas and around the world. We have seen a little bit of money, though, come on the under in this game. It opened 59. It's now down to 58 and a half, even 58 at some of the sharper books. In fact, what I consider a public square book still has 59 and a half. Some of the sharp international books have 58. So that tells you right away where the sharp money has been on this game, and that's on the under. And I would agree with it for one reason, and that's because there's a huge look ahead next week for the Texas Longhorns and Steve Sarkeesian with Alabama on deck. Keep in mind, last year, Texas was in the same situation They blew out an outmanned UL Monroe team in week one as a 37 and a half point favorite. They won that game 52 to 10. So it would have gone over this total. That's because they put up 52 points. They couldn't help but score against, by the way, UL Monroe defense that a couple weeks later played Alabama and gave up over 60 in that game. I do think Rice is better defensively. So Texas maybe will be held in check. And it's not necessarily that they're held in check. It's more so that Sarkeesian does not want to tip his hand at all to Alabama. They, he wants to give them nothing to see here on film. This will be a very vanilla game plan. And even with a vanilla game plan, I think Texas will be very good offensively in this game and maybe get over that 40-point mark. But it should be enough to keep this under the total, especially against a Rice team that's working in a new quarterback. And what a quarterback it is. The JT Daniels, where is he now show continues. And this time he's at Rice. This is the guy, of course, started as a highly touted prospect at USC years ago back in 2018. Um, He then bounced over to Georgia, was on his way to win a national championship before getting injured in 2021 early in the season. And an unknown backup, a veteran backup named Stetson Bennett steps in and ends up leading the Bulldogs to the national championship a couple years ago. So, of course, last season, Daniels transfers once again, ends up at West Virginia, has a mediocre season really with the Mountaineers. Overall, he threw for 2,100 yards and 10 starts, um, but 13 touchdowns only in 10 games, nine interceptions. Uh, Not a great showing, so I don't think Daniels is a superstar solution to what is a very mediocre Rice offense, especially in the first game. So I do think Texas shuts down Rice here. If you had to play the spread, the only way I would play it is Texas minus 35 or less. Um, But I am a little bit concerned about a vanilla game plan by Sarkeesian with Alabama on deck. And for that reason, I think the under 59 is the safest play here. Could also look at a Rice team total under that's going to be around 12 or so. Once again, the projected score here based on the point spread in the total is 47-12. Uh, so I think the full game under 59 is the best way to play this if you're going to attack it. And once again, a huge game on deck for the Texas Longhorns next week as they look to get revenge against Alabama. Uh, Sarkeesian's former home, first of all. And keep in mind, Texas blew that game last year. Should have won it. Ended up losing 20-19 to as a 21-point uh, home dog. And by the way... Sarkeesian has shown no mercy on the weaker foes the last two seasons. This is his third season in Austin. And the fact that he has gone just 13 and 12 the last two years, I don't think he'll miss the opportunity to blow Rice out if he can. That's another reason I would lean towards the Longhorns in this game. Uh, Last year, uh, he won easily, as I mentioned, by 42 against Monroe as a 37-point favorite. And against UL Lafayette, a good Lafayette team is only a nine-point favorite. Two years ago in his debut, he still won by 20. And then on the other side of the coin... Um, we've got Mike Bloomgreen here in his sixth season with um, the Rice Owls, and he has one in four straight up in ATS and openers the last five seasons. So once again, Texas and the under, the only way to play this game, in my opinion, at 3.30 Eastern Saturday afternoon on Fox. Hey, by the way, if you want my official best bets for this weekend, check out wagertalk.com and be sure to use promo code STEVE7, the number seven, STEVE7, gets the next seven days and nights of all sports, both football and baseball, for just $59, but you got to have that promo code Steve7, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and be sure to stay right here on Wager Talk TV for more great college football previews all week long.